Who's that? Hi everyone. Uh, so yeah, this is me in my Daredevil suit. Uh, that I'm gonna just show you how to make this. Uh, I'm sorry if I jabber jabber along the way. Please hold on with me. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and comment. And hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, bye guys. Let the geeks speak. Hi everyone. Uh, we're just back today, as you can see by the name, um, for your tips and tricks on your comic creation costumes. So, the costume today, guys, we are going to talk about is Daredevil. Uh, I've been away for a while. We've worked on a lot of things. I hope you can check out the geek games uh, that we've been working on. They're getting better as they go along, everyone. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll get straight into the costume, everyone, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment, and always let the geek speak. See ya. Hi everyone, the air dog barking, I'm sorry, it's Ireland. Uh, so yeah, this is my Daredevil costume. As you can see, Marvel, DC, DC if you're interested. Uh, I'm just here in Ireland, doing my thing, making costumes. Uh, Feel free to hit me up. Uh, but yeah, everyone, uh, this is a suit that I made. My friend is going to a party, and we'll start off with step one, which is the mask. So yeah, I'll give you a close up of the mask, everyone. This is based from the Netflix series uh, of Daredevil, you know? Uh, so we will start off with how to make it, which is you'll always want that eyebrow piece and, you know, a face plate, something that'll fit your face. So that's why, guys, and everyone you will go out and buy one of these if you really can do this now this is two pounds this cost me in an art shop uh, if you're looking at this you know fits perfect to your face and anything you want to do uh, so if you're looking to do the dirt of a look which he doesn't have a mouthpiece you would cut along here his nose and you will end up with something looking like this as you can see everyone you know so I just cut out the mouth and you would obviously have the forehead bit going up and you can spray them and colour them whatever way you want. I chose to wrap mine in red lycra material, that's stretchy material and glued it to it. But this is for your front base plate. Okay everyone? Uh, so you would have that and you would kind of wrap it in material. Um, pardon me. Uh, for the second piece you would either, I used to use cardboard, everyone, the techniques will be up soon because I have changed them, but I have like this, it's soft cotton, like stuff, it's the collars and uh, everything else is made of, like cuffs and shirts, it's just used to keep things stiff, uh, it's very rigid, it's very good to keep, you know, I make the armour pieces out of them, but I kind of made the side pieces here and the horns here with them. So everyone, you would start off with obviously the first, you know, base plate, which is the mask. Then you would wrap it or spread to color it whatever way you want. So it would be like that. Second, you would maybe add, you know, two pieces here to go down the mouth. You know, because just come across here, then you add this piece coming down and a side piece to cover your ear. Now that can be cardboard, that can be that soft cotton stuff that I use, I will find the name of it. It can be anything that you use everyone, you know, had a meltdown. Uh, anything can be used that is flexible and that can be, you know, coloured and spread easily or wrapped. So yeah, two side pieces here everyone. The horns, uh, you know, I just made three triangles. If you think of Batman's horns, one side, two side, three side. So yeah everyone, uh, I just kind of made three triangles, glued those together and then stuck those to the head. Uh, again, you fold whatever you're cutting in half, draw out the design and that way you'll get doubles. You know, you'll get two of the same sides, symmetrical sides of each thing. It always kind of works out when you're doing six pack plates or you want two same size horns. Always fold your things in half, everyone. It'll always work out better for you. Uh, so yeah, the top piece again is just, you know, a big flat piece going across the top. If you can find anything that, you know, kind of goes up to the back of your head, that is perfect, everyone. I had to build this, you know, around a face. So right here, I had to build out a piece here, a chin piece, and a piece coming out at the top, so that it covers the whole side of my face. And that is the mask everyone, you can wrap it and spread 
can whatever way you want. There will be videos on the techniques. I'll give you a quick look at that again. Uh, again, stretchy straps at the back. You can find them maybe on jackets, everyone. You can go to art shops. You can go and buy them in, you know, seamstress shops. Uh, things that sell material and cloth and clothing. They will always have them. Uh, and they're very, very good for putting on the back of masks and strapping things to, you know, armor pieces and bits. So yeah, everyone, I'll leave that there. And we'll get to the suit. So, everyone, this is just the suit. Uh, again, this is stretchy red lacquer material as a base to start with. You know, I just made a shirt uh, from the same size as one of my shirts. The stretchy lacquer material really helps fold your body. It's just like a one piece morph suit, you know, everyone. So if you can find any of those, they would maybe be better. The pieces, again, are this cotton stuff. And again, the same method is fold it in half. If you're using cardboard, if you're using EVA foam, you fold, uh, fold it in half or get two sides, draw out your design and cut out the design. This is kind of my design based off of the Netflix Daredevil. I'll show some pictures of that. And yeah, I just have a chest plate here. Two adjoining black pieces here, which originally I cut out all in one piece. You know, and then I just drew this design coming down and cut it you know guys so if that's that's a thing really the dark knight suit has a lot is all these pieces kind of interlocking and joining to each other that's because maybe it was cut as a one piece suit and then all cut up together and you kind of just space them apart you know you just put that tiny space in between them let them know that it's just separated it, it looks always cool so if you're going to do that guys cut it in one piece and then draw your design onto it and just put it just that bit away from it, just that little bit, and it hints always out. But yeah, guys, this is just black cotton stuff wrapped in material. Uh, always again, fold your stuff in half, draw your design, and then cut it out, and it'll end up with two symmetrical bits. Uh, I have the Eskrim stick holster for his leg. Again, these are just things that you get around your house. So if any of you have posters, or uh, you know tin foil tubes things that tin foil or aluminum foil comes in it comes in a like cardboard tube you just cut that in half everyone you know uh, that's what I made this out of uh, it's just two tubes glued together and then wrapped again in stretchy black material you know so they sit perfect for the two Eskimo sticks or whatever it is Matt Murdock kind of uses to bait the criminals up with in Hell's Kitchen. But again, just some stretchy material, some stretchy straps. Again, go to clothing stores, uh, material store, art shops are very, very good for it. Ask for help and maybe you'll get the better service and you'll get the better things of what you want. Always ask guys. Uh, everything here is all handmade. They're just little buckles also you can find those on coats and art shops 